you're watching the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Now here's your hosts, Tom, Nick, Ryan, and Dave. It's you, it's me, it's N-R-D. It's you, it's me, it's N-R-D. Uh-huh. Let's start the show. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, it is you, it is me, it is N, it is D, and we have opened the Forbidden Door, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome this week on our 127th episode. He was here for episode 7, I think, maybe, wow. ish, 8 in that area. He's been on other times, too, but ladies and gentlemen, from shooting shit, the only guy on that show that I respect or have any sort of decency towards, Mr. Dennis Day Jr. Dennis, welcome to the show Thanks again. For, thanks for having me on, and just uh, right off the bat, yeah, I'm... I'm I, I love you guys. You know, I got a lot of respect and love for you guys as well, too. But you got to watch what you say about my boys because those are my boys. So, yeah, I, I would love to say it to their face. But, you know, unlike them, you know, my balls are securely fastened to myself, not in my my fiance's purse um, like like those gentlemen. So, I mean, you at least have the had the courtesy to show up. We invite you onto our show. We open the door for you and you come on. So that's that's why we only respect you, Dennis. Well, one, 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 Joe, Joey, the premier Joey K is working to make a living because he's got to pay the bills. I got to respect that. Two, Sean's super husband. And you know what? I wish I was as devoted to my wife as he is to his, he is to his. And then Jovan is, Jovan's a good dude. Like I said, you all three of these, you know, we do this. This is all fun and games and stuff all and all. But I mean, don't, like I said, those are my boys and I'm going to have their back. So. Listen, we all we should we talk all about our miss our our missing member also, Tom. Yes, Tom. Yeah, sabbatical. Tom, who's out? A search for Harold right now. He's searching for Harold across yes, the globe. He's, he's searching. He's missing. searching for Harold in the great state of Indianapolis. Uh, where is where? Also, wait, wait, well, here you go. I'm gonna help you guys out. I got you guys a new show idea. Where in the world is Harold the puppet? Yeah, San Diego. We're looking for. Him. Boom. He's missing. If you've seen Harold, shout out to Tom for the for the new. Collection, the new addition to my Shane McMahon collection. Oh my God. Have, uh, have this I'm beautiful Shane McMahon hey, action. You better, you better watch it. When, crushing action. You better, you better watch it because you might tear a quad there. <laughs> oh, How to donate quad your quad. Secure. You know, don't get me started on quads. <laughs> ban, ban, ban the leapfrog. 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 We know without, ban without. It. Without our former guy, we we don't know how to get our t-shirts up. We're working on it. I swear. Uh, the only the only guy yeah. I care about is this guy right here, because when we go to war for Bidden Door, I'm gonna put my hand on this picture, like Buff has had so many other people do. Apparently, <laughs> I'll tell that story to you off the air, DDJ. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put my hand. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna touch this card with my heart and other things, and I'm gonna I'm ready to go to war. I don't want to know what those other things are. <laughs> Both hands. It's a big card. Uh-huh. Uh, but you know speaking about guys with big cards, big binders. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but speaking of Buff Bagwell, Buff Bagwell is going to be a part of the next pro wrestling crate. It dropped today. What the fuck did you do next? Like a Ryan Cross here with props. Uh, they're going to have a new pro wrestling crate. It's going to be an NWO theme. They're going back to theme crates. And I, for one, say thank you, God, when that, when that news broke. Too because, sweet. Right? Yeah, that Korean crate's gonna be too sweet. I I don't know about you, Dennis. Do you you get the crate every month, right? Mm-hmm. Do you what is what have you thought on the quality of the crates? As a man who formerly packed crates too, fun fact yeah, about DDJ. I, I did do that for a couple months and <laughs> I just or a couple times, and it's if you if you, you would you would be just in awe of how polished the setup is for how they pack the crates and stuff. I mean, it's really streamlined and you'd be surprised how many crates get, can get packed and say like an hour just with the, the, the methods that they use and stuff, but with the crates and stuff, it's been basically kind of like a roller coaster, you know, an up and down type thing. I mean, one month, they, like everything will be great. The shirts will be great. You know, then be like, eh, then it's just like, it, it doesn't seem to be as consistent as it used to be. And I think that's one of the reasons why, well, besides the fact that it'd be easier on my bank account, but when they go to the every other month, I think that's going to, I think, increase the quality of the crates overall. Absolutely. Agreed. It's, you're still getting, what is the difference? I, I totally forgot that they're going bi-monthly. When are they going bi-monthly? Ne- later this year? Next year? I, next year. Yeah, I thought it was next year. And is it like any change to the crate? Are you still, you're getting like two 
brawlers in it or something? I think it's two I, brawlers. Yeah, I think they had talked weeks. about that. I think that was the biggest one, but I don't know anything beyond that. Okay. But then, yeah, it's just going to be every other month, I think, instead of every month, which again, I think is good. In this case, is going to be less is more. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I think going back to theme crates is going to be a lot better, especially with the NWO. Yeah. Uh, it was listed Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Buff Bagwell, Papa Pump, uh, Big Wasn't Papa a, Pump, excuse what, me. Yep. Eric, Eric, I guy, Scott Eric Bischoff and Scott Eric and, uh, Bischoff. and Six Pac. Yeah, sure. so, Six Pac. I'll say this. Safely, we can rule out a couple of people who the autograph will not be. Um, <laughs> but then yeah. – so try, literally <laughs> – uh, but I don't think it would be X six Pac because we had an X Pac autograph before, mm-hmm. so I guess it's kind of close. I would guess Eric. B- so here's the thing: if you go back to episode one sixty eight, I think it was, or six, episode sixty eight, uh, we had Buff on, and we had mentioned like, "Are you getting a micro brawler?" And he I said yes. That. And he said yes. Mm-hmm. That was a year and a half ago. Almost. <laughs> um, well, I think the last episode we just buried Buff on here talking about how he was lying about his micro brawler, how it's never coming. It's we, really <laughs> we call this man a blatant <laughs> liar. My words, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so you could do a Buff Bagwell if it's 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 probably either Buff or Eric Bischoff to be the autograph. But I feel like Eric Bischoff is not a guy who's going to go through and do like a mass signing. Like, he just Maybe. doesn't seem like that guy. Like, I feel like he would have been on high spots at some point during, like, their live, sign it live stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And Bish- Bischoff's a good dude. I've, I've met him a couple of times. And he's a very cool dude. Like, I definitely, if you ever get the chance to meet him and say hello, definitely do so. If you ever get the I opportunity. I'm excited to- for, the, uh, for Eric Bischoff micro brawler, to be honest. I think it would be awesome. I wouldn't mind one. I think you got to do it though, like with like the rolled up kind of jean jacket. The dish- I call it the homeless Eric Bischoff look. Yeah, where he's got like the super five o'clock shadow, yep. the disheveled hair, the the rolled up jean jacket. Um, I also thought I think you're probably just gonna get like a group NWO pick, like a group NWO t shirt that has like literally every member that's ever been on it, like but, and Ted it's gonna DiBiase, have Vincent's, Stevie Ray. All fifty thousand members of that, but it's going to probably be one of those ones that's going to have them all on there. But I don't think they can have the NWO logo on there because I believe yeah. WWE yeah. owns the rights to that. That stinks. So. It just says too sweet or <laughs> the black and white crew. Um, but one of the things I also thought about was like the Chashki item, and uh, me being the Macho Man being my guy, I would love Macho Man like sunglasses or the bandana. Yeah, I think cool. would be fun. Although Jonathan Hodap just topped it all in our group chat, our Patreon chat, patreon.com slash WNRDB. Uh, he said a Scott Steiner calculator. <laughs> and Nick, and That's Nick, good. Nick made it even better and said the math is never correct. <laughs> Which would be hey, great. So I would, lo- I would, well, uh, uh, Scott Steiner is like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. He's gotten a bad reputation over the years for not maybe being not one of the nicest guys and stuff, but, my experience when I met him at the uh, at the Convent Comic Con and spent the weekend with him last summer, one of the greatest experiences I've ever had with a pro wrestler. Yeah, you were basically like a, like his handler, right? For like the weekend, like you helped him pretty, out with everything. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I was helping uh, my friend Michael Kingston, who runs Headlock Comics, who, you know, and there's been some of the comics in there and stuff. And he had Scott Steiner at uh, C2E2 all weekend. So, yeah, essentially I wound up being his handler. You know, I went and got him coffee once and – like I take him to his hotel after the show and stuff. Took him. He bought me Chipotle one night for dinner. Um, what's Scott Steiner's Chipotle order? I'm just curious. Like, there's no way he's getting one thing. He actually, he I think he just got. I think it was like a, like a, like a, uh, uh, I don't know what was all in it, but I think it was like a chicken bowl or something like that and stuff. And it was nice because it was right across the street from a Trader Joe's. So after he would run, I would park. He would go walk over and get the food, and and, and stuff. And then he come back, and then he ran into to uh, Trader Joe's. Scott Steiner loves uh, tangerines. It's like <laughs> both night, both days, the day. both, both days. He went. We 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 stopped there. He went and came back. He came back out with like a bag full of them, and that's what he eats and stuff. And and that. So, but. He's a, he was a good dude, and like I don't know if I remember if I told you this or not, but the last day of the show that Sunday, 
after, you know, he needed to get to the airport. So I'm like, hey, do you need me to take you to the airport? Because it's kind of on my way home. He's like, yeah, if you wouldn't mind. So I took him to O'Hare, drop him up, help him get his bags out. And as I knew, I go to say goodbye, give him a hug and stuff. He pull, he goes in his pocket. He pulls out. He hands me $120 cash That's for helping him out all weekend. And like I said, that That's right awesome. there. And I and I tried to reject. I tried to turn it down. But when Scott Siner tells you to take the money, you take the fucking money. He just pounds it against your chest, go flying back. Who am I? I'm not going to tell Scott Steiner no. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. He's, I can just imagine, though, like Scott Steiner gets into a tiff with somebody on the convention floor and like you have to step in like, sir, sir, yeah. Mr. Mr. Papa, Mr. Mr. Pump, uh, let's just no, count actually, 10 backwards. He was he was pretty he was pretty mellow, you know, I mean, he. He had, he talked he talked to everybody. He was really good with the little kids. There was even someone, and I was so glad I got to see this. And I if I have to see if I still have the picture or if I can find it somewhere. But there was a guy that came up to the table, dressed up like with the chain mace, the tights, the, <laughs> like basically oh. he looked almost like a like a Scott Steiner. He could be Scott Steiner's stunt double. <laughs> Was it was it Pete was it Petey Williams? It was Pete no, Williams this, guy, this, this, this guy looks like he was about twice the size of Petey Williams. <laughs> Big Petey Pump. Yeah, little Petey Pump. You know, I remember uh, Ian Riccoboni telling us like how his like son was having some sort of like temper tantrum yeah. or not, and Scott and Scott Steiner just comes in a locker room and just like picks him up and he's like That's just right, gets him did. to stop crying. So yeah. if, wow, if, if, the second time really on our good. podcast. I was, I was really surprised at how good with the the kids he was at that convention. Like I would have never figured him for that kind of guy. Here we go. We got to get Scott Steiner. On our podcast, we've had uh, Scott Steiner kid talk. It's crazy. He must Scott Steiner's like child care back up. That's that's the <laughs> yeah. thing. Can't can't wait one day they when I have the kids. Is your hookup? <laughs> for babies, I can use a babysitter. If your kids won't how, shut how up, was, uh... <laughs> if your kids won't shut up, go Scott Steiner's okay, your I'll... hookup. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's it should be an exciting crate. Back to our point with uh with the not not the NWO crate. Um, should be a lot of fun there. Um, I've seen. I want to before we get off of this. So I've seen some other speculation that the brawler could be uh the Kevin the Kevin Nash that was re- that was on the promo. Oh, thing like I didn't even think of that. Ooh. But I seen some. I seen where some somewhere where Stank said somebody brought that up to Stank, and Stank was like, "I never designed this. I've never seen this in my life. This is like a fan rendering." It was Garrett, I think. Said, but it was, all, it was on. Yeah, it was on it their was, promotional. Like it was on their you know, YouTube like, page. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Yeah, that's more of like an outsider. It's like like the classic Nash more than was like, it like red? The it wasn't red, like right? It was black. It was black, and it said Nash. Oh, I don't have. Red, yeah, right? it was like I believe. These, I believe yeah. so. That was what that Nash brown hair. Yeah, 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 so wow. But you okay. know what? We could also just out of oh no, we already got that. I was say we could get a redo of the Super Shredder Brawler. You yeah. could. I don't know. I, I don't I, the other one. I'm gonna get rid of this gray hair dash out of my collection and put it. You know, we great. They do. They do the X Pac Brawler, but it's six Pac and it's just red where there's green. So now everyone hey, say I'm like, yes, I've got somebody one that recently just sold my X Pac. I'm I am 100 percent down. They can remake <laughs> that. <them all. laughs> how much? How, 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 hey, how much? How much did you end up selling that for? Uh, well, I did a duck race. And oh, okay. I, I did free. I don't, yeah, you I don't, did a duck I race. Think I won both. <laughs> oh yeah, you won an X Pac. Insane. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, between the two of them, it was it was over a thousand dollars. Good for you. And folks, if you I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I would have pulled that if I didn't do a duck race. You probably Listen, would you probably should sell them. I had I had some people offer me some like 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 hit, hit slide in the DMs with some cash offers on it, but nothing uh, came close to what I ended up getting. I'm hoping yeah. that's all they slid they slid in your DMs with. Just uh, yeah, I mean, I listen, know, listen, you know, listen yeah. what I message Nick on my off time is mine and Nick's business, okay? Hey, we're hey, two, hey, con- hey, we're two consenting adults. Hey, you know what? Whatever you two do. As long as you're as long as you you're happy, I'm for it. Listen, we talk about football, okay? We don't always have to talk about wrestling, okay? Just yep. saying. And then yeah. there's the Chicago Bears Must. for Dennis, so you know. Might, maybe you don't. I might, know might not be clean. You know what? The, 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 watch out for the Bears this year. I think they're going to be a lot. I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. Listen, this this room has a Buccaneers, a Commanders, and a Bears fan. We are all on the border of depression. We yeah, we can make up. That's a board bet. Who, whose team is going to do the best? Oh, the border, hey, the border of depression. What was it? Two years ago, you won a Super Bowl. 
Hell, Nick's team won a Super Bowl <laughs> since since be, be, my mind won. I, I'm I'm going on almost forty years now. Listen, well, I'm a and, huge Justin Justin Fields fan, so I, oh, I think the Bears yeah. are going to be. I love Justin. Fields. I had Justin Fields on my fantasy on my fantasy last year. <laughs> and he did very well. Yeah, I, I, I would. Yeah, <laughs> right back. <laughs> no, Justin Fields is fantastic. All right. uh, but speaking of Chicago, and speaking of Michael Brawler, Chicago's <laughs> own. Um, Chick Magnet Phil uh, is getting a new micro brawler. Uh, he's got the We Are Chicago t-shirt. He's got his slicked back hair. And I thought it was the ultimate FU as CM Punk would do. And that he now has a shaved head and looks nothing like that brawl. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they're releasing the CM Punk brawler for pre-sale in CM Pants. Um, and there's going to be a Chase Bloody variant. Yeah, um, A bloody Chase. DDJ, have you ever pulled a Chase? I don't, the only time I ever got a chase, um, and it was when they had the very first uh, the major wrestling figure podcast uh, brought in the re- referee. That's the only time I've ever gotten a the chase. Refer- uh, oh, okay. Referee John. Yeah. Referee I, John. I've not gotten one since. I have never got one in a while. But hopefully, now that they've been on your show, maybe my odds will be increased a little bit. Do you, I mean, DJ, yeah, you are a loyal patron. I am. You are we a loyal do. patron, and somehow patrons. Get very lucky with our stuff. We we don't know how it works, but we're Except very for happy me. that it does. Except for me. Well, listen, Matt Matt Rudd won the uh, is a patron. He won the Frank Spahig signed micro brawler on their giveaway. I remember on, that on whatnot. I pulled three chases, four four chases. Mm-hmm. I pulled William Regal, Bret Hart, Conan, and Samoa Joe, who I couldn't give away. So. We had uh, chases pulled pulled live on the podcast. Yes, before. we uh, Ryan pulled Multiple like times. three red hearts. Oh uh, yes, 50, pulled like three of them. Oh no, I think he only he may have only had one. I'm not sure, but he did pull. Yes, yeah, I heart. Remember. How's he doing? By the way, he's doing great. You should see his Facebook Good. post right now. Yeah, he's just traveling all over the place with his uh, wife. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so CM Punk new brawler. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I'm kind of torn. Like, I kind of, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I just have this bitter feeling in my mouth. Pause. Um, About CM Punk. I, I don't know what it is. Like, I just if, like. If if it's anything uh, to do with what happened last year at Brawl Out. I, I, and this is, this is, this has been my stance on it the whole time. Everybody's at fault there. It, I, thought, not, I thought you were going to say fuck the elite. No, no, I, I, <laughs> no, I'm not. No, there, there. I, I, I. You know what? If somebody's gonna say that, the diehard punk fans are probably gonna say that. Yeah. Vice versa with the diehard elite fans and stuff. To me, everybody was at fault at that. You know, I'm, I'm more of a CM Punk guy than I am an elite guy mm-hmm. and stuff. But that's just because I've, I've seen CM Punk for, uh, you know, I've been around, I've been exposed to him a lot longer than I have Kenny and the bots. Yeah, and and stuff. So I mean, I'm never gonna say you know fuck fuck the elite or fuck CM Punk. I just think they were all wrong in this, you know. And I I just hope that with all this stuff going on, that one day that they, those guys can sit down and say you know in a locker room and say you know what we should we could we should go out there and make some some cash because exactly. suck it up and make the, the money. money. That's I... where the that's where the money's at right now in AEW. Um, you don't you gotta do. like you don't gotta like each other to wrestle each other. Exactly. <laughs> CM Punk and FTR versus the Elite, all in Wembley Stadium. Book it. I think that's that's your main event right there. With, do you do all? Do you do for all? You, you, they, well, yeah. You know what? For something like that, I would. But me being the guy that you know that's still holding out, I would hope that we get all out. Still in Chicago, you know, would like wouldn't mind seeing that live as well. You had five pay per views. Stop being so greedy. Hey, it's not my fault. AEW loves Chicago. What's What's my other thing? I'm very curious. Like, I haven't heard a definitive no, but I'm I'm like, there's no way they're gonna do all in and all out, right? Like, I don't honestly. No way. I don't honestly. I don't honestly see uh, like how they're gonna do it. Uh, basically, within a week span. Yeah, it's it's that's a, that's asking a lot. Even if you do, I mean. Yeah, it's pretty I mean, wild. I'll be honest with you. My bank account would probably be happy if they didn't do all out in Chicago. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because it's it's 
I think it'd also be confusing marketing just from a marketing standpoint. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, we're watching all because people are just so used to all out. You you can't hear that and all in in the same week and be like, oh yeah, it's oh no, it's on the fifth. No, it's on the twenty seventh. And, and, and shit, and you miss both. And since we're talking about all in, for the love of God, can we please get all in like on DVD or Blu-ray? Seriously, I mean, I, I, I can. Now, can we, can we find? Can we actually? Can we actually get? get I'm going to take that one step further. Can we finally start getting some pay-per-views or something? Because they haven't released a pay-per-view on this since last year's Double or Nothing. I mean, we still haven't gotten anything for... I would love to have a copy of Forbidden Door from last year, you know, and yeah. stuff. So I don't know what's going on. I'm curious if they're... I, I don't think TNT has a streaming platform, like, or Turner has a streaming platform. If they're, like, with, like, TBS, like, or paramount or whatnot they're, but they're part, be... they would be part of max because that's all under the warner brothers yeah, I was about to say, okay. that was like the big rumor last year was it was, was going to be like but hbo see, but, was and, and see, the thing streaming. is is with that they they can show they can do they're capable of doing something like this because you, if you have honor club because yeah. honor club is is basically to me what the wwe network used to be yeah and if they can they got so much stuff they could merge honor club with, or I don't know, but I, I, I feel like we're eventually going to get some sort of like streaming service on uh max or something, but I mean, they can, they they, they, they've got the ability to do it. That's, yeah. I, I think honor that club. would, that would explain the holdout in terms of releasing more physical media because I, it would I just, would agree with you there. it would be would such agree. a waste and then go to streaming, like get those first round of like, get the first, couple pay-per-views out as like a collectible thing but yes you're right all in should be available on dvd and blu-ray somehow or go really yeah. old school do what the fwf did and put it out on vhs like I make me have to go to my dad's house and hook up the fucking vcr with like eight million cables going I'd into to, it i'd have to ask my mother-in-law if she still has it i think my wife said my mother-in-law has a vhs to play her at her house so you know off subject a little bit but vcr sell for like a lot of money now yeah they do it's it's great it's crazy that all this <laughs> retro stuff is like really making a comeback i mean you look at yeah. vinyl a couple years ago and now vhs has kind of got a bit of a comeback and stuff so yep the um yeah i remember i remember when like all in was first talked about and they're like yeah imagine we do this and we don't even film it It'd be pretty wild <laughs> just ten thousand people watch the greatest wrestling secret ever oh, we could man, do anything that was, that was i was so lucky i was so gl- glad that i was able to get tickets for me and a buddy of mine and we actually had really good we had like ninth row from the ring so we had really good seats i got oh, wow. really lucky that's awesome yeah that, that plus really i got cool. to meet papa buck in the men's room so <laughs> Oh, another bathroom <laughs> store. We no, he so talked we about that on like the first things. episode. He talked oh, about okay, that the first right. time he came. I'm almost certain of it because I remember actually. I, I, I like, probably. So, Dennis, who have you peed next to? That's <laughs> we have quite a few, uh, quite a few bathroom stories of people meeting wrestlers on bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. that was like that was that's my bathroom story is meeting Papa <laughs> Buck in the bathroom. Of course, I waited till we both washed our hands to shake his hand. So, like a good Christian man, he is. Yeah, um, <laughs> Ken Shamrock, man, the Olive Garden. I met, I met Juice Juice Rob. Well, his name was C.J. Parker then, but it was Juice Robinson, yeah. and he was kissing in the urinal directly next to me, like not even like like <laughs> urinal spaces, like literally like right next to each other. And when we were done, I was there was like, no like divider match, between. <laughs> there was like no, no divider just, between you two. Was it a no, trough? Not even like yeah. the, you know oh, how God, like sometimes a... you like space it. You have like. You have like, like if you, I mean, you we're all dudes. We know if you go into the bathroom and there's like <laughs> somebody peeing at a urinal, and there's like oh, yeah. another one, you space it. Yeah, it absolutely. Actual, yeah. There wasn't, that's, there wasn't. that's a that's so that's like, directly that's, like that's hey, what, Juice Robinson, <laughs> CJ that, Parker. That's what you call man law. <laughs> you know, and, but you had to I had to do what you had to do. And this man, place was so cheap. This is this is, a, this is an NXT house show, and the place was so cheap that I guess the wrestlers didn't have. There was only one bathroom in the place, so the wrestlers had to come out of the locker room and go to like the, the peasant bathroom. With all of us marks and stuff, so it had to be great for them. <laughs> that that kind of information is is the real forbidden door. We can't just be letting everyone in the men's room. Yep. Like you you want to go pee? Are you a wrestler? Come on in. Um, but yeah. So again, let us know in the comments. This tends to be our shtick. Uh, who have you gone to the bathroom next to? That we is- have some new viewers, I'm sure. They <laughs> exactly. Even if they're not wrestlers, I want to know who have you gone to the bathroom next to, and you've that. judged. Okay. Um, I can't lie. When I go to like um, 
I'm trying to think of like when I go to like a sports rivalry game, like a Red Sox Yankee game or that even that has died down, but like Devils Rangers I went to earlier this year. And I'm just like uh, afraid, yeah. like I'm going to be standing at the stall, minding my business and just like a fight's going to break out behind me. And I'm just going to have to like zip quick and, and hike over somebody. Yeah. That's just my <laughs> one fear. Um, but yeah. What so would King Samrock do? Put him in the ankle I'm lock, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Put him in there. Um, so let's see. What was there something else we wanted to talk about? I can't remember. We talked about the bunk brawl. We talked about not the NWO. Crate. All the brawler news that I got going on. I believe that's yeah. Well, you know what? Since you're talking pro wrestling tees, real quick shout out. They're opening their store again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Very what cool. the hell was that? I was gonna see. I don't know if this I'm not sure if that's gonna be uh when is uh hold on hey, Friday. <laughs> It's this, know, it's this. It's this Friday's. We're for. As we're recording, we're, we're recording this on the 14th. This ain't going up for a week. So yes, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the. the last such Friday. an amazing great yeah. opening with. Yeah, yeah great, I know, man. The, I because I actually I plan on going there, uh, right when they open and stuff. Because I have I actually, even well before I knew this was happening, I took Friday off because we've got family coming in this weekend for a reunion. So. So bring the whole family. Imagine yeah. like. Imagine the Day family with Brody King. Like we've adopted this man today, Brody Day. Brody Day. Oh, nah. They <laughs> nobody be in till later in the day. The wife will be at work. This kid will be at uh, his summer camp. So it's just me going solo. It's like, hey, Brody, I left everyone at home to come say hi to you today. Oh no, I actually won't be <laughs> around for that because actually I'll be back home by the time he's there. I, I met Brody uh, King. I met Brody King at the uh, C2E2 this year, anyways, and he's a good dude as well. So, so I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Margaret, Margaret wants to give him a hug. He he appears to give good hugs. Allegedly, he's in the hug club. He's not yet. He wants to be. Oh. There's another shirt coming that's soon. A, eventually, that's hug, that's club. Idea right there too. hug club for life. You know what? One of these days, I want to get a hug from Margaret. So, Margaret. Please, I want a hug from you the next time I see first time I see you. Come on out to New York, my man. That's where she is right now, laying down. So, but yes. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, I think that's everything we've covered. It was it was a slow couple days in wrestling. So, uh, mm. Dennis, the fly, the fly might regret this, but go ahead, plug your shit, plug shooting shit, um, <coughs> carefully. You know, yes. if, you, if you haven't watched shooting shit, and we uh, we can tell by the uh, subscriber count there, uh, not a lot of you have. So. Please check out shooting and Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. Okay. Go for it, though. The floor is yours, my friend. You know what, though? <laughs> we, 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 we don't do it for – we. yeah, we like it when people watch and stuff, you know, when we get the viewers and people messaging us and saying, hey, you know, great show and stuff. But you get that every once in a while. But for me, before – and I go into this, plugging the show here in just a minute, but just being able to do this on a weekly basis, like with three guys that I consider brothers, three guys that I consider best friends and stuff, you know, it, it, it's something I look forward to every week. You know, we could, I would enjoy it. If, if we had one beer, if we had a thousand viewers, a million, whatever, I would enjoy it just the same, much like I'm sure you guys would be as, as you know, for as long as you've been doing, Man. you know, this show together, but, but no, in all seriousness, um, we usually try to put out new episodes every Friday, every Friday morning. We rec usually record on Thursday nights and I try to have the show out by Friday morning before I go to work. Incredible. We're actually, about two months out from what will be our hundredth episode. So, so, and, and you guys know, I know I've talked to Dave about this and I think Nick's maybe heard, you know, just the, what the show, how the show came about and stuff with the aftermath of, you know, a sweet gate from two years ago <laughs> and stuff. That's so. why they canceled all out. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's just, Things happen, you know, and, you know, a lot of people to thank for kind of putting, you know, getting, kind of talk, doing some, you know, caught, you know, convincing and everything to kind of start mending some fences and putting the show together and stuff. But now we, we, we sit there, we, we, we talk about, we'll talk about things that happen in the world of wrestling, you know, give our takes on it. And sometimes we'll just go off into some random stuff. Like, you know, we may end up talking about a movie or, you know, just whatever's on our mind you know we're trying to take up more of a free-formed uh conversation you know just basically four guys sitting around shooting shit you know with each other and stuff like i said every we try to put episodes out every friday um and stuff so you know thanks you guys for your support you know and stuff and all that but uh yeah but this uh competition here that we've got coming up is 
quite interesting. Door. So, and that. Hopefully, so, hopefully and, the rest of the guys actually show up when we do the predictions. You know what? I'm just saying. You know what? You know what? I think boy, it's next week. Shit, we got to do this next week. Holy yeah, shit. my boys, my boys are gonna be ready. I've I got. So. I I don't worry about them. These guys know their stuff, and I'm gonna tell you this right now. You, you, there, there's a bloodline out there that is slowly falling apart at the seams, but there's a new bloodline that's coming into town. Right now, you're looking at the guy who is the brains of the the new bloodline. We got, we got. Uh, no, it's not that guy. <laughs> and then we, so you got DDJ, myself, the five star trivia machine. That's not just a gimmick. That's a fact. Yeah. And I can, and I've got two known people that can back that up. I've got WWE Hall of Famer Mark Henry, who on his Instagram posted a picture that he took on his phone with me, saying that I'm the greatest uh, wrestling trivia guy he's ever met. Dave LaGreca, the host of Busted Open, signed an autograph saying to the uh, to the greatest brain in pro wrestling. Dave LaGreca's wife. Signed an autograph calling me the walking wrestling encyclopedia. So when you hear five star trivia machine, that's not just a gimmick. That's the fact. You got my boy, the hot one, Giovanni Tuhati. That guy is the heart of the show. He's our lead host. He's the guy that kind of keeps everything in line, tries to corral us. And then when he can't corral us, he's just like, fuck it, let's do whatever. So then we got the Silver Wolf, my wise man, my, the soul of the show. The guy that's been responsible for all of our, our stuff on social media, him and his wife, Mrs. Silverwolf, who does a hell of a job with our TikTok, which we are going to start putting some renewed focus on. And then you got Joey K, who is the, the asshole of the new bloodline. And we that is our asshole. We wouldn't want him any other way. And all I'm going to tell you this, boys, is the, it's not it's going to be a fight here at the Forbidden Door. I, yeah. I will I will agree with one thing. Joey is an asshole, but that's just the the Pennsylvania punk in him. <clears throat> just you know. <laughs> well, should we run down our side of it and what we got? Yeah. Because well, here's well, here's the thing. You guys We're, have four guys. We yeah, have a four, we have a catalog who's the of the fourth man. Who's the fourth we, man? <laughs> who's the fourth person? It could be it could be Spaceman George. It could be could be a puppet. It could be a wrestler. It could be a backyard wrestler. It could be a scholar. Uh, it could it could be a a major guest. It could be it, it, it could, could be Buff Bagwell. It really could. We got his number. We have Buff Bagwell's number. We have Buff it. Bagwell's phone number. What do you guys have? You got nothing. I, Every, you know, everybody, I, everybody hey, come out. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually have on my phone. I have Scott Steiner's phone number. Oh, we can have Scott. I will Scott never Steiner get, versus Buff. I yeah, you know what? Get that I got I got Buff Bagwell putting his brother already in a chokehold. I'm sure Buff would have that's no problem. All, that's all you did. Dude, have you Scott Steiner would wipe the floor with him, and you know it. You know what we have that you don't? Uh, stickers. I agree with that. Do you have stickers? Okay. I mean, I think no. I think I think I sent you a sticker at one point. But... I've got a few of your stickers. I was actually cleaning out my I was cleaning out my basement in preparation of my uh, cousin uh, to staying with us for the weekend. You know, so my house looks somewhat presentable, and I found a bunch of the stickers. And I also found the uh, the ticket you sent me from WrestleMania thirty six. Yes, the WrestleMania that yeah, wasn't have, that didn't happen. Yeah, I, guess. I have one of those too. Of those I, have, I think that's the only nerd gift I've gotten besides the stickers for being a Patreon. Don't we worry, have? Nick, we look. Nick Nick look. literally has them all. Everybody finally sent me everything. Now all I have to do is just package it all. Everybody's getting like a year's worth of gifts. And yeah. Stuff. Listen, uh, I think the uh, the um, what's the excuse every other business has been using? Uh, COVID. Um, yes, COVID. That's the problem. It's uh, yeah, COVID. I would say we had some um, some staff change. Big staff got changes. Up. Big got, big got supply, moved supply chain issues. That's it. Supply chain. Stuff, issues. stuff went all over yes, the country. Yes. yes. Supply chain issues, but yeah, so uh, but it's we, here, it's all in one place now, and it's coming, it's coming. It's oh, Ryan it's Barkin coming, said. it's coming. <laughs> Wait, it's coming another everywhere. Ryan Barkin post, yeah, yeah, you know it. A, a Ryan post, but not barking. But we'll see you at Forbidden Door. So, yes, yeah, so that is going to do it for episode 127 of the rest. Hey, wait Brian. a minute, before you do that, 
what are these matches they announced for Forbidden Door? Oh yeah, yeah from my, my, yeah. So they let me see. I'm just yeah, off the top of my head. So they, yeah, no, for, thank you. I appreciate it. With we're, I'm used to Tom yelling at me for this. But so they announced um, that they're going to have Hiroshi Tanahashi uh, versus MJF for the AEW World Title. Oh my uh, God! They, yeah, that's had, what I said. <laughs> they announced Sonata comes on the screen. So pretty much they just had New Japan guys do like video clips. Um, kind of like what Sonata, Danielson did for Okada. Yes. So okay. they had Sonata come on and was like, I'm offering an open challenge to anybody in AEW for an IWGP title shot. Uh, and so they're interviewing Jungle Hook in the back. And Jungle Boy's like, oh, I see see Hook there with that FTR title. And it makes me want to get some gold. So I'm going to accept Sonata's challenge. So it's going to be Sonata versus Jungle Boy for the yeah. IWGP title. Wow. Um, they didn't confirm it, but they were interviewing Orange Cassidy, and he got interrupted by Zack Saber Jr., who says he wants two titles. So, and then that was interrupted by Daniel Garcia, who said he would like two titles. Um, but then he mentioned like he wants to talk to Shibata because he wants his pure title back. Right. So I think what they're so next week on Dynamite tomorrow when this airs, uh, they're going to do Orange Cassidy and Shibata versus Daniel Garcia and Zack Saber Jr. And then I think i would assume at forbidden door they'll do shibata versus daniel garcia for the pure title and then orange cassidy versus zach saber jr title for title inter uh wow international championship right. versus tv championship you know i'm honestly yeah. surprised i'm honestly surprised that they didn't go with the uh, it sounds like they're not going with joe versus zach saber jr no i don't think so i think they're going to do orange I'm cassidy shocked. so um, but yeah, that's all they've got announced thus far. I'm sure we'll get more on collision, probably. Of course, you've got Okada versus saying, Brian Danielson. I keep saying CM Punk versus Kanto, too. I've seen that like multiple. I, that's been that. rumored. Yeah, that's- I think that's a big politic thing there that's going to get in the way. I think the fact that we got Punk back, let's just let's get let's cross that next bridge next year. I feel um, like Kanto would, Kanto would go down for Punk, though. I feel like Punk's definitely going to win. Yeah. <laughs> So with the with the go to nap, um, but yeah, so Forbidden Door is gonna be a lot of fun. It really will be. Um, and then yeah, the I'm following ready. week, I'm Money in the Bank predictions. I'm ready to predict, baby. I'm yeah, ready. Me too. I'll put on uh, I'll put on my because uh, there is one man from Gotta Pennsylvania that I respect, and that man's name is Joe Lemonhead. So I will put on my little my little Roman Reigns wrist guard here. I'll get ready to Superman punch everybody on the shooting shit roster, baby. I'm ready. You gotta um, be able to jump off the ground first to be able to land that punch. Oh, I can jump, bro. I've got like a three inch vertical, and that's if I get a running start too. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so on behalf of myself, Dave C. The Voice, the Founding Father, Mister Nick Carbon, of course, the Five Star Trivia Machine, Mister DDJ Dennis Day Junior of Shooting Shit. Uh, thank you for King showing up, Tom, Dennis. on his crusade yes. for for Gerald out there. We we yes. miss you, Tom. Don't forget for to your realness around the country. Don't forget Sorry. to like us on all the Go platforms and social media. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you follow Shooting Shit's page as well. Give them some uh, love as well. And yeah, until next time, on behalf of everyone here at the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast, don't forget to tell your mother you love her every day because, like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone. Fuck Shooting Shit and God bless America. Oh. <laughs>